Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the process of doing my own Gelex at home. So this is what I'm starting with. This set is about three weeks old and honestly, she still slays. Okay, she looks good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not used to doing voiceovers. But just remember that all the products that I'm going to be using in today's video, I did purchase from Amazon. So be sure to check out my Amazon storefront. It will be linked down in the description box below. But I'm just taking my drill right now and just filing off the top layer of gel polish. I tried to remove all of it and if I can't, that's fine. The acetone will take care of the rest. But this is kind of what your nails should look like when you're done. Very bare, very thin. And after that, I then just take my little clipper thingy-jiggy and just clip off the excess length. I cut it down to wherever my real nail stops. Honestly, didn't have much to cut because my nails grew out a lot, but yeah, super easy. The removal process is like kind of self-explanatory, and then I'm just going to repeat the same thing to the other side, and this is just a note. I'm right-handed, so the hand that you see with all of the tattoos on it, that's my right hand. I'm not going to lie, it was kind of like a learning curve trying to do my dominant hand, but it honestly got so much easier with time. I feel like because of my profession of being a lash artist and a makeup artist, I already have steady hands and I use both of them pretty often. So it wasn't that hard to do, but I promise you it's going to get better. And this is what my nails look like after I have drilled off the gel polish and cut them down. And now it's just time to do the hard part, which is soaking them. Um, I don't know why the bottle is upside down. I'm so sorry guys, but be sure to use 100% pure acetone. Don't use the nourishing or any of the other stuff. You need to get 100%. It's going to speed up the process so much. And I'm just using these little clippy thingies. I don't know what they're called, but, um, I'm just using those to soak off the nails. And if you are doing your nails at home, please put a towel down. I don't have to because I have the Ikea vanity, so it doesn't peel the paint off, but I remember I did these in my kitchen and my mom is so mad because I messed up her kitchen table, so I do my nails and her nails in my room now, so just be careful. And sometimes a towel is not enough because I remember another time I did my nails with a towel and it still kind of ruined it, so yeah, just be careful. And I let my nails soak in increments of 15 minutes and I promise I'm not being rough. I'm just, it's just hard, you know, sometimes. I usually do one hand at a time, but it was late this night when I did my nails. So I'm just trying to hurry up and get it over with. But usually after I like get most of it off, I'll just do another round of soaking. And after I'm done, I just buff it with a buffing block and cut them down. And boom, we are ready start with our Gelux application. I'm putting on these gloves from Melody Susie from Amazon to protect my hands because the UV or LED or whatever you want to call it from the light, it can be very damaging. And it can make your hands look really old, dry and wrinkly and I don't want that. So, I wear gloves. And sometimes the gloves are pretty linty because I haven't washed them to be honest, but I just take an alcohol swab or a pad or whatever and just clean my nails off. And for my tips today, I'm going to be using the Beatles uh, Gel Nail Tips in Medium Square. I really like these. I don't have to shape them much and I use these tips as well even if I cut them down. So right now I'm just, you know, doing my sizing and all of that. Sizing is super duper important. Do not rush. On the sizing because if you have the wrong size tips on your hands it's gonna look crazy okay take it from me I've done I've made that mistake before but when sizing just remember that they should fit side wall to side wall and if they don't you need to file them to fit your nail and please take your time again because it matters it matters more than what you think so I used to drill the inside of my nail tips as you may see other people doing but it was just too much time, too messy so I now just do acetone on the inside. Um, since these are gel tips and not plastic it's going to kind of like melt it a little bit so I do this about twice on each nail just to get it really good and this is like kind of like my prep for my gel tips. 
So I'll just do that to all of the tips and set them aside. And then we go into prepping our real nails. So I'm gonna take the Model 1's Nail Prep Dehydrator. Y'all know what a dehydrator does. It basically just strips the natural oils and whatever else you may have on your nails. So that way you are working on a clean surface. So I'm just applying this to every finger. Not very exciting. <laughs> I'm now going in with my Model 1's uh, nail primer. I love this primer. I don't have any complaints. I feel like with all of the steps that I take, you guys can seriously have Jellix nails that last longer than three weeks. My nails never lift, and y'all, just just take my advice, okay? <laughs> and now I'm just going to be going in with the Beatles nail glue for nail tips. This is not your standard nail glue, like Kiss or nothing. This is a nail glue that specifically has to be cured with a UV or LED light. So I'm first just starting off by painting a thin layer on each nail and then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. Don't ask me why it's 30 seconds. That's what I learned and that's what I do and I haven't had any problems, okay? So just cure it for 30, not for 60. And you, before you cure it, you want to make sure that you get it off of your skin. If you did get it up there, you can either use your finger, cuticle stick, or just use some acetone. I just use my finger because, yeah, it's not that serious. And yeah, now we're just gonna cure for 30 while we wait. And this little contraption that you see is a flash cure lamp with an adjustable neck. Um, I know it's not cute, y'all. I tried to buy one of those little cute white ones that like, it's like a little stand, baby. I returned it because it was so hard to use. Don't like it, 10 out of 10, don't recommend. Get this little ugly one, okay? <laughs> You're gonna see why. So as you see, I'm going ahead and applying my nail glue to the tip. I do not apply a lot. I used to apply a lot because I thought the more glue I use, the better it'll stick. No, baby, you're just gonna have a whole mess to clean up because it's gonna spill. So here's just some tips. Apply it at a 45 degree angle, just like I was saying. Do not use too much glue, okay? You're gonna put some up there and you know just keep it cool and just use consistent pressure when applying and then as you see, my left arm is on one side and my right arm is on the other. That just makes it easy for me to just move my nail over. So that's what I do. That's what I found works for me and it makes it super easy. And after like 15 or 20 seconds has gone by, just, you know, try to press it just to make sure she's a little secure while I do my other ones. And she's up there. So on to the next. Again, I'm just brushing it up there a little bit and then I leave a little bit near like the cuticle area as you see like I just like kind of leave some there and again we're just getting her ready <laughs> y'all see I'm focused 45 degree angle keep the pressure consistent don't use too much glue once the glue kind of moves all the way up to the tip, you'll be able to see it. It's very hard to see on camera. I move her over to the light. It works like a charm every single time. This is like the easiest way to apply your Gel-X tips, in my opinion. And here's another up close. Once again, just put it up there. And then leave a little bit at the bottom, but not too much. If I ever feel like I put too much, I just literally take it off. Like, I just... Clean the brush off and then just swipe it off. I'm putting it up there, 45 degree angle, keeping consistent pressure all throughout. And then we're moving her over in just a second. Up oh, there, there you go. <laughs> Super easy. So once you've done the whole hand, you're then gonna cure for 60 seconds, final cure. And then that is what they look like, y'all flawless yeah period they look so good already and then I just went ahead and did the other hand off camera yummy it just looks so good so here's how um, you get your nails to look like you just walked out of the salon so you're gonna need some practice with the drill not gonna lie I feel like I've really kind of perfected her I'm not scared of her anymore I don't cut myself anymore so I've gotten really good but you're just gonna etch or drill the uh, cuticle area. You're not gonna do the whole nail, just the cuticle area. 
Um, if you have any spillage or bubbles or whatever, like near the cuticle, just file it off as good as you can. I'm sorry. When it comes to filing off like excess glue, it's really hard. So you really just have to perfect your application, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just drilling it very good around the cuticle. I don't do it too hard. I have my drill set on the lowest setting. So I'm not hurting myself. I'm not damaging my nails. And just going in and doing that and that's what they should look like when they're done but here's the real tea here's how you really take it a step further okay you're now gonna take your acetone take your same little flat brush and I go over my cuticles like two to three times since these are gel tips and not plastic like I said before the acetone is kind of it's gonna like melt it so it's gonna melt it into your nail bed to Make it look really seamless. So I'll do this as many times as I need to. Doesn't really matter. But usually two to three works for me. So I just keep on doing this. And I do this for every nail until I am done. I really hope my tips are helpful so far. And I don't know. I think I might um, actually just start recording doing my nails. <clears throat> excuse me. Every single time that I do them. Just to show you guys the process. Or if I do any designs. So yeah but once this is complete i then file my nails in an up and down motion you don't want to do um side to side because that's how sometimes your nails can like look crooked so if you want a straight edge just file it up and down like that's just gonna like make it straight and level and then once that is done we're then just gonna take our buffing block and I'm doing the whole nail, but I'm really putting a lot of pressure on the cuticle area because, girl, I need them to look flawless. I hate doing my nails and they don't look like I walked out the salon. Like, I get so many compliments on my nails. People think I get them done. I tell them I do them. They're like, what? Do mine. Nope. <laughs> I'm not doing your nails. Sorry. <laughs> Is that mean? No, it's not mean. It's not mean, okay? It's not mean. So... After all of that, I'm now going in with the Ameli, I think that's how you say it, gel polish, and this is in the shade 022. Sorry, it's upside down. Up oh, there it go. We fixed it. And y'all see how my nail tips are white? I usually wipe them off with an alcohol pad, but I don't know why I sprayed them this time, and I think spraying them made them white. So don't do that, okay? Um, just use an alcohol pad. I was just trying to get the dust off. You could wash your hands even, but don't spray them because y'all see how that looks. It looks crazy. So yeah, I don't know why I did that, but I won't be doing that anymore. I'm still learning. And as you see, I'm just painting them. I did three coats of this because I just needed it to, you know, give what it needed to give. Um, very self-explanatory. But yeah, um, if you guys really want me to start recording, um my nails every time I do them please let me know I thought about just incorporating them into my vlogs but I kind of just want them to have their own time to shine because baby I worked hard for these and then also um before you cure them for 60 seconds clean it up okay that's how you get that fresh out of the salon look because they don't do that at the salon they don't let you walk out with gel all over the place so do it at home babe and there we go we are curing and I'm just repeating this until I am done but yeah like I was saying um yeah I might start doing my little nail videos I guess this one is like more so like a tutorial but I guess from then on I'm just gonna like just show y'all doing my process and I'm just gonna be talking to y'all so if y'all are interested in that please let me know I'll give you guys whatever you want <laughs> super 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 cute y'all i'm just so proud of myself and i really do enjoy doing my own nails it's just so relaxing and here's the beatles top coat i love this top coat all these products i love i genuinely love because if i didn't like it i would return it and get something else so everything that's on my storefront is the products that i actually like but same thing just paint it up there do 60 seconds self-explanatory y'all know how to paint y'all nails um but yeah it feels really good to have a hobby that I'm not making money from because I kind of monetize like my other hobbies like content creation and then also doing makeup like 
it's kind of like a job but I feel like this is super fun and I cannot wait to take those gloves off they get so annoying but I don't want old wrinkly hands I'm only 22 okay I don't have time for that but once I have polished my nails I then I see them do this at the nail salon so I just do it too <laughs> But I just do the same up and down filing motion. I do it on my toes as well whenever I do gel polish. But that's what my nails look like, guys. It's super easy, I promise you. Just give yourself three months. Give yourself a couple times to try it. And they're going to look bomb. Like, look at that. Someone swiped up on my story today and said my nails look like glass. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. And that's my dominant hand, too. That's my right hand. So... Yeah, um, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to message me or leave a comment below. But I really hope you guys found this helpful and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So, bye guys.